All right, for this assignment, we're going to be creating a scale version of the solar system. Now, there's two ways you can do a scale version. You can do it from first by distance or by actual comparative sizes. Um, but by doing distance, since our solar systems are so far away from each other, like in, in the solar system, um, it, it really wouldn't make sense to do by scale for distance. So instead, we're going to be doing scale by size. Okay, so this is the handout that you're going to get in class. Okay, so we're trying to compare the sizes of the different celestial bodies of our solar system and to scale. So we're going to use Earth as our base, and we're going to be working in centimeters. So we're going to be working in centimeters. Okay, because if you see here, like we're going to start getting, if we did inches, these P, these solar system uh, scales are going to be huge. So we're going to be working in centimeters. So if my Earth is going to be one centimeter, everything is based off of that. So our Sun is going to be 109 centimeters. That's going to be really, really large. Okay, Mercury is going to be 0.4 centimeters. Okay, Venus is 0.9 centimeters. Our Mars is going to be uh, 0.5 centimeters. Jupiter is going to be our largest planet, which that makes sense, 11.2 centimeters. Saturn's 9.5 centimeters. Uranus is 4 centimeters. And then you have Neptune at 3.9 centimeters. Okay, so what we're going to do is you can use a ruler um, to measure each of these things, uh, measure them on your um, pieces of paper. Um, we're going to use paper for ours. If you'd like to try this at home using Play-Doh, that's fine. Um, and then for our solar system back, we're just going to use a piece of white paper that I'm going to give you in class. We have glue sticks, uh, pencils, also markers and color pencils so we can decorate these afterwards. What I'm going to do is for our solar system, um, I also am going to provide you with um, this is a guide. Okay, so this here, um, I used Word and I made uh, templates for each of our solar system, for each so of the planets in our solar system. Okay, so looking at these pieces here, which one do you think is going to be um, our Jupiter, which is our largest planet? It's probably going to be this one here. This is our largest one, and based on our um, information here, our Jupiter is going to be 11.2 centimeters. Okay, and if I take my ruler here and this is the diameter and so remember for diameter diameter is from one side to the other okay so the diameter is going to be here we go 1.2 perfect okay so this is going to be our Jupiter okay which probably leaves this to be Saturn I can take my ruler and I'm going to measure and I have nine and a half perfect so this is going to be Saturn okay um, let's look at some of these smaller planets here we need to find our one that's going to represent Earth so let's see, we want one that's going to be for Earth, it's going to be one centimeter. Up, oh, I think I, nope, that's a little less. Up oh, right here. So this is our Earth. This one looks like it's 0.9. So which one's 0.9? Is our Venus. Okay, this one here is super tiny. That looks like it's 0.4. Up, oh, that's probably Mercury. Mercury. Then that means that this one here, this is... 0.5. This is our Mars. I'm going to put MS so I know that's Mars. Um, we, have we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. We only got two more. I'm going to measure here. And that's four, exactly four centimeters. Up, oh, that's going to be my Uranus. And then last but not least, we can forget 3.9, and that is our Neptune. Perfect. Okay. So now that I know which ones these are based on my measurements here, I'm going to cut them out. Um, this is going to be an easier way for us to get our, um, our construction paper to decorate um, because now we know exactly how big these are. Uh, we're going to glue, we're going to cut these circles out. We're going to glue our circles directly to our construction paper. So on the side, you guys will notice I have construction paper in all different sizes. I'm sorry, in all, all different colors in um, all these quarter sheets because if I look here, my biggest planet here is Jupiter fits right on that piece of paper. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm gonna cut out, let's start by cutting out my Jupiter, okay? This is the largest one, this is gonna be, be the easiest one. So let me cut my Jupiter out. Try and be as, as neat and as even as possible while you're cutting. Okay. Remember these planets are spheres, they need to be circles, okay? Shouldn't have any crazy edges. And also by using this paper to help us with the, um, the sizes, 
we'll be able to keep track of all of our circles of our planets once we have them cut in construction paper. You don't want to have to keep going back and forth and measuring them all the time, especially after you've cut them a couple times. Maybe your, your measurements aren't quite right anymore. So making sure that we have our circles labeled um, so when we glue this onto our construction paper and we cut it out again, we'll, have, uh, we'll know exactly which planet this one is. Okay, so I'm going to just push this to the side, and let's see. I'm going to say since Jupiter is uh, has that big dot on it, I'm going to put it right here. So you can see it fits so perfectly right there. Remember, when you're using construction paper, any kind of paper, you want to try to conserve. I'm putting it smack dab in the middle right there. It's not really that great. If I move it kind of over to the side, it's also going to give me less to cut out, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to take my glue stick, okay, and I'm going to glue my Jupiter right onto my paper. Okay, again, trying to conserve. Get this right to the edge here. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to push that on. Okay, nice. Once I have this on here, see my edge is a little sticking up. So I'm just put a little dab of glue down there. Perfect. So now I've got my Jupiter glued down. Okay, I can do this one planet at a time, or if I want, I can cut all my planets out, glue them, and then cut them out. I'm gonna just do this one planet just so you'll be able to get started right away. Okay, so now that I have Jupiter on here, I'm going to cut around my paper. And now again, remember I said about conserving paper? So look, what I can do here is I can cut straight, straight, and maybe I wanna use this paper for one of my smaller plants. So maybe like my Mars, I want it to be red too. So I'm gonna just leave this on the side. I can use it later, okay? Little scraps like this can get thrown in the garbage. Okay, okay. so here I have my Jupiter. And look at that, now I have a nice circle cut out and I know it's the right size for Jupiter. Once I have all my planets laid out, I'm going to put them in order on my piece of paper. You can label it if you want to decorate your outside. I would say you can have your sun is going to be all the way out here. It might even take up this entire section of the um, of the paper, like from end to end, and even bigger because 100 centimeters, we don't even have, our rulers only go up to 30. So uh, imagine three of these rulers for our sun. That is huge compared to our, our paper here. So we're gonna just, if you'd like to have your sun here, um, that's fine, you can draw it in, okay? But we're going to um, cut all of our circles out, put them here, and then um, have our, uh, put them in order for our solar system. Um, if your paper is coming off like mine is a little bit, that might work out. Once I have all my papers, um, my things measured, I can like eat nicely, gently, if this is separating a little bit, I can take my paper off here so that when I go to glue it down, I don't have double paper. Okay, so, ooh, come on. Okay, nice and gentle. Perfect, okay, so there we go, I have a nice Jupiter, so, but I know that this is the size here, so I can just kind of have that on the side, okay? So I'm gonna cut the rest of these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have all my planets cut out, so here's my Jupiter, okay, here's my Saturn, okay, I have my Jupiter, my Saturn, I have my Neptune, I'm just gonna go all the way out here, I have my Uranus, Uranus, I've got my Mars, oop, I might cut that, I took that paper off before, okay? I've got my Mars, is M-S, Mars, it's right here, oh, super tiny. Here's my Mars, here's my Earth, here's my Earth, here's my Venus, and there's my Mercury. Okay, now that I have all my planets in order, so I've got my, and I made sure, uh, I went through and I took all the backing paper off that was just kind of helping me with measuring, um, and it easily came off. Uh, now I'm going to glue all my papers, all my uh, planets down, and then uh, if you'd like, you can decorate, as well as you can add a sun here if you'd like. So I'd say the sun is going to probably take up this entire, because remember, we can't really measure 100 centimeters Okay, but you can maybe make the sun is huge compared to all of our other uh, our other planets. So if you want to measure, not really measure, but that's just like tip of the iceberg there for the sun. And if you want to go in and label each of these, that'd be great. And um, you can label up at the top here, like scale solar system. 
Um, you can decorate the out the background, decorate your planets, okay? But um, make sure you have them in order. Um, and that since we put we um, had our papers cut out and glued to the back, we definitely have them in the right order. So we can write um, scale solar system, scale solar system model, scale solar system model, and then you can also go in and label each of your planets. Okay, make sure you're labeling, label, label, label. Okay, uh, and that's how you're going to make your own uh, scale version of the solar system.